Come to Bano Biology Center for true learning. Here I request you to subscribe our YouTube channel Bano Biology Center for more videos and press the bell icon for latest notifications and updates. In previous video, we discussed the intrauterine devices. This video is continuation to the previous video. In this video, our focus will be on the oral contraceptive pills available to prevent the What are oral contraceptives? Pills used as contraceptives orally for preventing the unwanted pregnancies are called oral contraceptives. Oral contraceptives also called birth control pills. Here the pills can be taken by mouth by a person as a medication. Pills contain certain hormones. Some pills contain only progesterone. Some pills contain only estrogen. Some pills contain both progesterone and estrogen hormones. Already we talked about the role of progesterone and estrogen while we were discussing the human female reproductive system. The main function performed by these hormones is development of the follicular follicles in the ovary and uh, releasing of the secondary ovum from the graphian follicle. The FSH uh, is responsible for follicular development. Luteinizing hormone is responsible for the ovulation. When these pills uh, enters the body, the uh, suppression of FSH and LH hormones is done. Then because of that reason, the ovulation cannot happen. The another function, uh, making the cervical mucus become thick. Actually, in the cervical region, mucus is uh, very thin. It uh, allows the sperms uh, swim easily towards the uterus. When that mucus becomes thick, uh, Sperms find a difficulty to move towards the uterus. Then motility and secretory activity of fallopian tubes also inhibited. How to take the pills to avoid the pregnancy? Generally, the pills need to take for 21 days. The taking of pills must be begin within first five days of menstrual cycle. When menstrual cycle happens, within the first five days, the person need to begin the taking of the pills. After 21 days, the person must give 7 days gap. Then if she want to continue the process, again take the 21 days further. Then the average failure rate of oral contraceptives is 2 to 3 percent. I mean this number represents the, the effectiveness of the oral contraceptives. Are there types of pills? Yes. Here the pills are two types. There are two types of pills. One is hormone pills. Another one is non-hormone pills. Hormone pills again two types. One is combination pill. Another one is progesterone only pills. Shortly which is popularized as POPs. As the name indicates, the pills contain hormones. Either progesterone, estrogen are called hormone pills. Pills do not contain any type of hormones or called non-hormone pills. So let us uh, look at each type of pill. The first is about combination pills. As the name indicates, combination means a mixing of uh, any two. Here, combination pills contain synthetic forms of the hormones, both estrogen and progesterone. Here, synthetic forms means man-made. Hormones which are uh, man-made called uh, synthetic hormones. Here, the pills contain man-made hormones like estrogen and progesterone in combination. They are called combination pills. Here, what is the synthetic progesterone? What is the name for synthetic progesterone and what is the name for synthetic estrogen? Generally, norethisterone acetate is the synthetic progesterone, so which is available in high concentration in pills. Then the synthetic estrogen is ethanyl estradiol. So it is available in the low concentration. It is very important point. This uh, synthetic progesterone is in high concentration. The synthetic estrogen is in low concentration. How pills works? Pills uh, work in two ways. First, in first way, they prevent the ovulation. In second way, they thicken the cervical mucus. So it was a point uh, just now we have discussed. These are the main functioning of the pills. Here some examples are given for combination pills. One is Mala N, another one is Mala D, another one is Levora, 
another one is low string another one is netasia here the picture is the pictorial representation of the mala n and malada is given on that uh, pack uh, the chemical combination in the tablets also mentioned here this is the contraceptive pills next about progesterone only pills pops as the name indicate this type of pills contain only progesterone estrogen presence of estrogen is nil the pops also called mini pills progesterone only pills also called mini pills they also prevent the ovulation and thinning the endometrium when endometrium become thin the, the chances of implantations become decreased here the person has to take the pills daily without fail here some examples for pops are given one is nor qd another one is camilla another one is erin so there are um, progesterone only pills are available in the market under different uh, brand name here uh, these are the some famous brands available in the market this is the nor qd this one is the camilla here the 28 uh, tablets uh, contained in the each uh, script so what are the side effects one is decreased sex the sex drive will be decreased there will be a problem of nausea and there will be a problem of bleeding between periods and also the problem of breast tenderness let's come to second type of pills non hormonal pills here pills free from steroids pills do not contain any type of hormone either estrogen or progesterone or called non hormone pills the best example for non hormonal pills is saheli it is very important but saheli pill doesn't have any kind of hormones it is completely free from steroidal hormones here the saheli is the world first non hormonal oral contraceptive pill which was prepared or manufactured in india so what is the chemical present in the saheli pill saheli pill contains uh, formaloxifen formaloxifen is the chemical found in the saheli the saheli pill was uh, discovered by central drug research institute in which is located in lucknow in india country central drug research institute popularly known as cdri which was discovered the non hormonal pill that is saheli for the first time in the world the saheli pill came into the market for use i mean the saheli pill had make available to the users in the year of 1991 here armeloxifen is also known as sensroman this is the chemical right the saheli pill has armeloxifen the armeloxifen is also called with another name which is called sensroman this is the tablet of saheli saheli oral contraceptive sensroman tablets sensroman is one of the chemical selective estrogen receptor modulator right here sensroman act as selective estrogen receptor modulator shortly we return this as serms here serms acts on the estrogen receptors it modulate the receptors and make the instability in the secretion of the estrogen levels so because of the, because of that reason the environment for the uh, pregnancy will be disturbed here the government of india distribute uh, the sensroman tablet under the brand name chaya at free of cost here the chaya pill is available at free of cost which is presently distributed by the government of india so under the name sensroman here is there are there any side effects of sensroman no sensroman doesn't cause any side effects like nausea vomiting dizziness in case of uh, hormonal pills there there are some side effects experienced by the females it is about the pills can used by the females 
to prevent the unwanted pregnancies. So generally, one question may come to our mind, are there any pills for males? Of course, there are uh, pills for males also available in the market. The name of the male pill is called Gossypal, G-O-S-S-Y-P-O-L, Gossypal. So Gossypal is the natural phenol. Gossypal is the natural phenol, so which is uh, extracted from the cotton plant. The cotton plant is the major source for Gossypal which is the natural phenol. Here, the gossypal acts as inhibitor and prevents spermatogenesis. Mainly, gossypal chemical works on the spermatogenesis process. It prevents the formation of sperms. Further, firstly, it damages the germinal epithelium of the testicular testic. The germinal epithelium is the main place where the spermatogenesis process uh, begins uh, and continuing. So because of damaging the germinal epithelium, the gossipal can inhibit and prevent the spermatogenesis process. Thank you for watching this video.